Shalom, 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 shalom. This is your brother, Yayo Ezra Ben Levy, coming at you again with another video. Now, many of my Christian brothers and sisters, not all, but I can say a good 90% of them, and within mainstream Christendom, they believe that Yeshua, Jesus, that he did away with the law. He fulfilled it for them because they couldn't. He fulfilled it, which he completed it. He ended it. He it is no longer relevant. It's done away with. Some believe it's nailed to the cross because how they interpret and how they was indoctrinated to believe St. Matthew chapter 5 and verse 17. And I do not have a King James handy. But many of you, I'm pretty sure, know what it says. It said, um, he says, Yeshua said, do not think I come to destroy the um, law or the prophets. I did not come to destroy but to fulfill that's king james now this is what it means the first century in the times of our ancestors this is a rabbinic idiom that's why i always stress learning the language history culture and biblical context this is what it means. It means to abolish or to destroy. What did it mean in the Hebraic rabbinic sense? What were the rabbis actually saying? What was Yeshua actually saying? To abolish the Torah is to misinterpret it which will lead to breaking it yourself or causing others to break it. But to fulfill means to interpret the Torah correctly, which will allow yourself to properly keep it and others that hear you proclaim such. And I want to challenge my... um my brothers and sisters of the Christian faith, take the time to read the rest of Matthew chapter 5 and move on to verse 19. Most people just read um, verse 17. Some might even go to 18, but it seemed like many just gloss over, just will completely avoid going to St. Matthew chapter 5 and verse 19 because if Yeshua was actually saying that he came to do away with it because he kept it and now you don't have to it will make no sense of him to say what he said in verse 19 I'm going to paraphrase I'm not going to try to quote it he basically he said least are those in the kingdom that do not keep the Torah and teach others not to keep it as well. And then he came back and said, but blessed or great are those in the kingdom that keep the Torah, that observe the Torah and teach others to observe it as well. So based off of the words of your Christ, who many of you believe he's Christ and God forbid, Many of you believe he's God himself, but many of you, according to his own words, he would not be thinking fondly of you. He actually called you least, not greatest, least. So just take the time to think about that. And remember, we have to understand proper biblical culture. We have to learn the language 
because we got to stop thinking they spoke King James Old English. And then hold on to their the definitions of those words when he spoke Aramaic. At that time, they were speaking Aramaic. And of course, we he knew Hebrew. So find out what it means in the Hebrew, in the Aramaic tongue that he spoke. And when you do, you will be shocked to find out that he was um, properly interpreting Torah so that it could be properly lived out. Not that he was trying to do away with it or saying, I'm going to do it so you don't have to, therefore ending it or nailing it to a cross. We will never understand what's being said if we will not take the time to study. And I mean deep research. But you don't even got to go deep into this to find out this. It's right there. But that's the issue for you who say Yeshua is your Christ. He is your Mashiach. Why are you not listening to the one who you say is your Mashiach? I'm an Israelite. It really doesn't matter to me what's written in the New Testament. And I'm not trying to be disrespectful because I have my own text. So where the New Testament agrees with the Hebrew scriptures, that's a good thing. But the core essence of that book contradicts a lot of things in my book, in my Bible. That's why I don't embrace what's in the New Testament in a whole. That's why I do not embrace Yeshua, Jesus as the Messiah. And it's biblical reasons why I do not embrace him as the Messiah. So my brothers and my sisters, take the time to learn what it means from the first century perspective with Hebraic mindset. What did it mean to abolish or to destroy the law? And what did it mean to fulfill? So that's all I want to share at this time. This is your brother, Yael Ezra Ben Levy. Till next time. Shalom.